Alrighty guys, Shells Mobile Media here. <laughs> We're gonna be doing a, 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 a little first a bit of an audit. I heard these people down here had a 2.9 customer service rating. <laughs> So we're going to go up there and see what the hell's going on. How can we make your service better? Yeah, they ain't going to ask that. So we're going to do a little silent audit. Hey, how you like my disguise? <laughs> Who is a dumbass that would park like that? He's entitled. Go ahead. Don't go on the wrong side of the road. Yeah, I bet you do. Yep. So you got to come over here, you get your package, and you get to that it's all empty. There ain't nothing in here. There's a little bit over there, Charles, but I don't think there ain't nothing over here on this side. Oh, this is a very, very nice lady right here, guys. Very nice lady. Very nice lady. Oh, yeah, look at all this nice stuff up here. Oh, yeah. Oh yeah, we got some. Oh, we got some. Oh, yeah. Get the Oh, let's see, we're trying to film them, but we're not. We got right here. Yeah. See, come out here. You get, get some cards and stuff right here. Oh, yeah, I like that one right there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. 
and he's very lovely. Well, Charles, you can get in your neck, your heart, or right here. I told you there's one right here. Yeah, yeah, there's a lot of nice ones. Oh, yeah. Yeah, just a couple of people. Oh, look at that. That is. <laughs> look at that one, guys. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty funny. <laughs> Yeah. And you know I don't I don't see their poster seven anywhere. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I don't see their poster seven anywhere. They're supposed to have a, a, a poster seven. to have a, a, a poster seven. Excuse me. Yeah, there it is. There it is. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the, that's the, that's the notice to conduct for the post office. As you can see, nobody has read that code of conduct. She says we're recording her, but we're not. We're going around recording everything in the post office. We're going to try to see why. Why they have a rating of a 2.9 rating? Yeah. 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 All kinds of boxes, you know. Maybe this is why they got a, a, a 2.9 rating. Excuse me, I'm trying to get. They don't, they don't give you very much room to maneuver around here. <laughs> I couldn't see it. Well, whatever they got going on, they weren't happy with the post office. Right. He's mad. I don't know what. That sure is some weird parking right there. I'm sorry. 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 i Thank you.
Did you hear what those people were mad about that just walked out? They're pissed. Boy, that was a ripoff. I'll never do that again. So, ladies and gentlemen, you got a you got a camera right there, and you got you got one you got one right there. So we just gonna stand right here. Yeah, I was trying to get a picture of that. Uh, those cars right there. Invading my privacy. This is my face, not theirs. Okay, then I'm leaving. But I will file a complaint with the post office. This is ridiculous. You are out of control. I have a right to speak. No, nobody. They said we made her leave. We didn't make her leave. She just didn't want to be out in public in front of everybody else. She forgets she's on four cameras standing right here. Five, excuse me. I am the public. You know, if she if she had asked us what was going on, we would have told her. But as soon as we went in there, she just flipped her live lid. Then you complain. If you would have asked, we would have told you what we're doing. No, you didn't. You have an ugly attitude. Go ahead. Yeah. So then if you must be for the paper. And you go right here and you can get the door right there. You can get, get it delivered because it goes digital now, guys. They didn't have that when I was younger. Are we on the news tonight? Well, apparently everybody here is all right as far as the workers go, but when it comes to the customers, they still think that they're in private, but they're not. And there's our other. There's our other. There's the Megan guy. I like her disguise. Why are you 
What is it that you're taking? What are you, what are you doing? <laughs> what are you doing? For what? I don't know what to say. What are you taking it for? I have no idea. They don't talk. They don't know how to talk. Yeah. They can't talk. They don't know. So it's not they ask. They just look at you. Yep. I should have Oh, yeah, wait, oh, yeah, yep. Why are you taking pictures? If they would ask us, nicely without a nasty attitude we would tell them that we are practicing a first amendment audit constitutionally protected activity even in a government building even more so in a government building yeah, she wasn't ugly and hateful like the last one, but she kind of, you know, she tried to get her phone to get working so she could take a picture of herself, but you know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there she goes, guys. There she goes. She got her pants. <laughs> Can't help it. It's funny, guys. She's trying to get that thing going, but it just ain't gonna get going. But you know, they got, we got poster seven. Over there. Really weird. Well, you know, in this day and age, there's a lot of weird, but it's still legal. We don't want to know, because we already know the truth. It might be weird, but it ain't illegal. We got, we got one in line already. Okay. Yeah. That was great. Thanks, guys. Yeah. Let's see right here. There's seven. This, is, this is what we're looking at right here. Code of conduct, guys. And this one is outdated to 2003. I don't want to do that. Guys, that's crazy. There's another. Here's another one parked all really weird. Let's see, we'd park like that. That ain't how you're supposed to park that in that spot, though. I tricked him. They think I'm a dude. They kept saying, sir, sir, ma'am, sir. But we're going to do this silent. <laughs> there we go. Is that a problem? Or what? It's been a good huh? day. You have a problem? <laughs> don't touch. Yeah, well, don't pull. I will press charges against you. You understand? 
You never grab somebody's equipment. Ever. That's assault. What are you doing? We're doing a First Amendment audit, ma'am. Um, we found out that they have a customer service rating of 2.9. And we're here to find out why. They should be treating customers a lot better than they do. It's not just the long lines, it's probably more than that, huh? Yeah. Uh, yeah, it's uh, a lot. Okay. And our boss has sent us out here to find out why. Normally, we're not supposed to talk, but since you asked so nicely, we decided to tell you. Well, in the summertime, you know, you don't need this big a place, but in the wintertime, it could be a lot bigger. <laughs> right? Yeah, it is quite small for this area, you know, so. You have a good day. There we we got this one waiting in line. You can go up there and talk to the first master. And we ain't gonna cut through all these people. We just gonna go in and talk to the postmaster. <laughs> These are some very nice ladies right here coming to use the post office. Me, not you. Oh, <laughs> oh yeah, oh, you can hear. Thank you. I'll catch you outside in a minute. Yeah, okay. What's that guy's name in Arizona? He's got all the cases. Oh, drag me. Yeah. yeah. I want to get him. Yeah. He does, uh, he does a good work. Yeah. I agree, guys. <laughs> Delete laws. Delete laws. San Joaquin Valley, Trent, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. There's a guy in, uh, there's a guy in, uh, there's a black guy in Florida. Uh, he's really big, you know, he's pretty Armed big. fisherman, or, uh, solo yakker, and ragged monkey. I won't be doing too much editing with this one. I'm going to put it right up. Come out here and talk to this dude. He knows what's going on. 
You got some people in there. <laughs> See, a lot of these people, they just, they come with a smile, and I think it's just fabulous. Then some of these elderly women, they are mean. Mean. What hateful, hateful people. Thank you. There you go. Thank you, appreciate it. I'm waiting on the supervisor because he told me to press the button for a supervisor and tell them that the person said he's out for it. Thank you. That's probably why they have Booster 7, because their supervisors don't want to come out and say anything. There's a reason why we're here. Gee, you got, you got a camera right up here. Yeah, couple back there. Everybody's on camera. Everybody's on camera. Yeah, I think I took a picture of that right there. I'm going to go right there and we'll put some of uh, this people coming in and out. Because hmm. I can't keep all of my breath just to talk. Goodness. Yeah, the sheriff came and told him we were allowed to do this and you're out in public and the lady got pretty pissed. What do you guys feel about how busy it is? They got a 2.9 customer service rating, and we were sitting out here to find out why. I can tell you why. Look at that stupid line. It's yep. Usually, Been like that the whole hour. It's usually twice here. that long. I, I come in there standing outside. Oh, that's ridiculous. Yeah. That's, I want to tell you another thing. People from here are driving clear to Winter Haven to, to, if they got to see a post, post person, mm -hmm. rather than come and stand in these lights. That's ridiculous. Yes, that's ridiculous. You're yeah, right. I hope you get it fixed. I hope so. We plan to.
need to talk to the postmaster. I talked to the supervisor, and he said he will let the postmaster know right away. Mm-hmm. That's Kenny. Guy out there told me that people go all the way to New Haven so they don't have to deal with this one and the one in Yuma. Wow. That's insane. She don't like it. She don't know why we're doing it. She don't like it. They don't like it when we talk to them, and they don't like it when we don't talk to them. But yeah, that guy. That was funny. So is that supposed to be Oh, they just turned the music on. That's funny. They just turned the music on, guys. Trying to violate the Yeah, copyright. That doesn't work anymore. There he is. See, he's got the bounce. Yeah. We just, I usually work with uh, Truth Be Told Audits. Uh -huh. And um, can you tell I, I'm a female? Or does the mustache look real? <laughs> I didn't even cross my mind. Really? I never, <laughs> you fooled me. I never even crossed my mind. Until I started talking. <laughs> no, not even that. No. You got a good, you got a good, good, uh, uh, <laughs> cool. Yeah. yeah, um so we heard they were they had a really bad rating. Yeah. And yeah. So we went in and looked at Google and yeah, they got a bad rating. So we came in to find out why and I just found out that a lot of people just go straight to Winter Haven to instead of coming here. here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I got to, I got to, uh, sometimes in a uh, human, it just depends on uh, where you go. Uh, you, you know, if you have uh, numerous locations for the sand service, like DMV or postal service, whatever, mm -hmm. uh, you know, you can get, me particularly, I can get, I can get, get great service, excuse my friends, shitty service. Yep. Depending on a lot of factors, you know. So. Right, right. Uh, but normally, normally, uh, I'm surprised you knew what we were doing. Huh? I'm surprised you knew what we were doing. Oh, I, 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 I try to stay up on. Uh, I'll be honest with you. After, after, after George Floyd, you know, yeah. Everything that happened, I mean, that really focused me, right? You know what did it for me? Elijah McClain. Elijah McClain. Yep. Something that. Like that. I get chills every time. I, I mean, I. It, it just makes me want to cry what they did to that boy. Yeah, and it's just, uh, it's just. Uh, they almost got away with it. Yeah, and it's just you know I'm 65 man. It's just years mm -hmm. and years of, of. Uh, you know, dealing with the inequalities. You know, for all you know, benefit. Minorities. I don't even like that word anymore. Minorities. I'm a, my, a minority to what? Minorities or, or, or uh, females or uh, wage inequalities, you right. know, uh, 
economics, you know, just uh, housing, just, you know, I lived so, I lived long enough, man, I didn't, didn't see this stuff in cycles. Right. You know, it, it comes around present, right around presidential election, all this stuff ramps up, right? They do all their stuff in the dark right after they get elected. Mm -hmm. All that stuff done in the dark that they do, and it's right around election time, little bits of it comes out, things happen, and, uh, you know, they jump on the bandwagon, they pass a few frivolous bills, or they, or they uh, you know, cancel a few, uh, and it's just, uh, it's a, it's a cycle. Right. I mean, it's the same cycle all my life, right? You know, when I was in the military in the 60s, right, where, you know, say it loud, I'm black and I'm proud, and, you know, it was the identity, it was the identity era. Everybody was fighting for identity. I, you know, see me as who I am and who I represent, right? Women, minorities, or that word again. Uh, sex gender, you know, people think sex gender just came out. That was way back in the 60s. Yeah. You know, and, it's, you know, the revolution started back in the 60s. So just uh, everybody seeking a, an identity, a purpose. Validation. Recogni recognition, meaning. Mostly recognition, man. Mm -hmm. Recognize that. I am who I am, and I, right. and I, I I'm, I'm, I'm valuable, and, 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 and I'm needed, right? And so it just, just like I said, it's just for the cycle. And then that George Ford thing really, really focused me, right? Oh yeah. Because yeah. Uh, the little boy, the little black boy, that got shot with a, uh, he had a, they had the, had the water pistol. Remember, at the playground, top jumps yep. out and he starts to kill yep. him, right? Yep. You know, I thought about that. My, I got four sons. They're all grown. And I thought about how many times my kids running around. I got some badass kids. <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> they might have been shooting at police at 10 years old. I don't know what they were doing. But uh, I thought about that, right? I, you know, what if, what, if, what, if, what if one of my family members, right? That's how, that's how they talk about that Hispanic dude, which was this Hispanic dude that got gunned down in front of his, that gunned down in front of his mother. And he was, he had autism. Yes, yes, I can't remember yes. Yeah, and, There's uh, several. Gunned, yeah, and it's just. Uh, they don't know how to handle that mental health crisis, and yeah, they send it, police it, out there that are not capable of doing it. Yeah, yeah. And then they shoot and kill them. Yeah. There's it's, no it's sense. Police, it's the police action that's really got me going. The welfare checks. Yeah. Yeah, because, uh, man, when I, I'm from Louisiana. Me too. What part? From Murray Road. Right outside of Baton Rouge. Yep, Baton Denham Rouge. Springs. Yep. How long have you been out here? October. Is yeah. It? Yeah. But I'm from Arizona, So let though. me ask you. You think he could teach her how to walk like you? That's oh, yeah, I saw, I, I saw your, I she, saw she, your she gate. You're like, I, I don't know how to do it. Oh, God, she, everybody she, she tells can't me walk. that. <laughs> I said, just go like this. Okay. She said, that ain't here. I, I was going for the blood in, blood out. You remember that movie? Yeah. Yeah. yeah I, you know the gangster dude that's in the back? Yeah. I was going for his walk, and I just couldn't get it down. <laughs> I mean. It's, it's natural. It's, it's, yeah, <laughs> that, yeah, that's yeah, what yeah. it is. You know, you just, you're in the neighborhood as a kid. You, know, you, you imitate your older brothers. You imitate right. your dad, your uncles. And all the bad dudes in the neighborhood. You imitate this my wife. Right? Oh. You tell her oh. what she's going on. You look good for 65. Did you say you were in the military? Yeah, maybe. Yeah, thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, you know, I don't, I don't, uh, that's another fallacy too about military service. Unless you've been in and then people would tell, and if I was military servicemen would tell the damn truth about the military aspects of the military. The military does not deserve all that adjunct. Now, when you go in and you sign the contract, or I'm a dotted line to go in the military, right? You are, you require, you acquire certain benefits, place in your life in forfeit. Mm -hmm. That's what you're doing. Yeah. I place my life in the for forfeit defense of my country, and the, the government is saying for that we're going to provide you these benefits. It's a contract, right? So you behold to that. That's it. You don't deserve all this pat on the back, high rah for you, because you know what I did in the military. Got drunk, got high off weed. Got fat. What'd you do? Nothing. I was a yeoman. I worked in the ship's office. Oh. Never saw a day of, of, of combat training. Never saw a day. Of, I didn't do combat training. And that's the majority of the people in the military, just like me. Never seen combat. Never even had combat training, readiness training. In other right. words, there's a conflict and you're getting ready to go. 
Right. You get the little preliminary war peacetime training. Mm -hmm. That's 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 just to keep you busy, keep you informed. The actual readiness, combat readiness, when you're gonna get trained and you're actually gonna take this training over the fight, right. two weeks now, six weeks now, whatever. None of that. And so I really don't see how uh, military people can deserve all these pats on the back. I'm watching these guys and be walking around and acting like, uh, uh, you know, we're, we're, we're this big deal, right? You know, you sign a contract, it's just like a job, you, get, you got the benefits coming to you because by law they're required to give them to you. That's it. You don't quit running around here like I'm a veteran, all this stuff all over you. You've never seen a day of conflict, let's see, a day of action when there are people, veterans, who actually saw combat that died and aren't receiving their families that need just do. Yep. But yep. you want to yep. walk I've seen that. and say, you know, you, yeah, you give me more money. You, you deserve some type of adulation. No, what you need to be doing is trying to help those that didn't get what they had back coming. They don't have the legal representation. They don't have the wherewithal to to fight the VA, fight the government that they got coming. It's, it's, it's just it's just like it's just like it's just like beliefs. How many studies have been have, have been made over over the last fifty years that say the policeman's job is not as dangerous as they want us to believe? It's like 25th of the most yeah, dangerous yeah, jobs right. out of 100. What is You're it, right. like 25, 26 yeah. or something like that? Yeah. It's not even, you know, it, it's, it, it's, it's, it's not even in the yeah, top 20. No, it's not, it's not. But yet, they, 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 they got all these uh, stipulations, they have all this protection. And yeah. what's, what's, what's the biggest, what's the biggest, uh, Qualified union, immunity. Union, what's the biggest union, most powerful union in the country? Police the union. Police union. But they won't tell you that, though. And they, they keep, they tell they keep they hiring. Like, well, the community needs to go out the window. That way, the I think so. Treated just as citizens. Just like, just like, just like a doctor. You follow and, the same and see, that's why we do what follows. we do because we want the laws to apply to everyone yeah, equally. Just right because he yeah. wears a badge and a gun doesn't mean he gets away with shooting somebody in the back. In the old days, that used to be murder. Immediately. Yeah. Yeah. So. Yeah, and it just. It, it, uh, and and seeing these videos and watching them plant guns and stuff on innocent people and drugs and yeah anybody with, with internet access that can go on youtube and i know the majority of people have seen at least one of these videos you know why because they've had a family member or a friend a neighbor or somebody that saw it yeah you need to see this right yep. everybody's seen at least once one of police plant drugs shoot somebody in the yep. back beating up women you, 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 yeah look 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 at the last month Look how many women that have got beaten up physically you go on YouTube, got black eyes, knocked out, yep. stunt, drugged, and thrown in the car, trying to defend herself. Pregnant women having big old black yeah, eyes from yeah, the yeah. straight kicking her in the face. Yeah. Stuff. yeah. And this guy's on administrative. But why is it everybody Paid vacation. in an uproar? I know everybody's seen a video like that. Why because they the still whole, think the cops are the heroes. In, in an uproar, right? Why is it Los Angeles in the goddamn uproar? And they're the biggest the game. Huh? It's back the blue until it happens to you. Yep. Yep. They back the blue and think cops are still but there. We, 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 we should not allow the blue to have that much power. How long have you I been agree. out of Louisiana? 30 years. And my point is, why the hell doesn't the citizenry oh, population almost, no, dude. wake up? Hey, whoa! Oh, baby, that truck's too big for them. Yeah, lady, I guess you gotta, you gotta get your yeah. with yeah. cameras and stuff, that's why. Well, yeah, um, um, what, what y'all's what handle? It, it's Michelle's Mobile Media. Okay. Michelle's okay. Mobile Media. Okay. I have my wife doing But uh, hey, it was nice meeting y'all. It was good talking and, to and, you. Uh, nice meeting you. And y'all be good. It's be safe and uh, keep doing what you're doing now. For sure. What are those? <laughs> you can tell my child has never used one of those. <laughs> yes, I have. All right. Just before the beep. So. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Wow, it ain't packed in here at all now, guys. It's pretty quiet now. <laughs> All the lines are gone. That's good news. Now maybe they'll get a better rating, too.
2.9 rating. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. Get the phone right out of my hands. Or no, no, grabbed a hold of this, and I grabbed a hold of his hand, threw it down. And I hope I got it. I hope I got the look on his face. She's definitely doing her job with a smile. Good attitude. Oh, here comes another one. Tell her you get that big old. You know, that we're gonna, or he's gonna tell them what we're doing, but we ain't. They gotta ask. They gotta be willing to be open. And not one of them are willing to be open. They're not willing to learn something new. Even when the sheriff came and told them, uh uh uh. <laughs> Michelle's mobile media over here. Gonna be doing a cop watch in Yuma, Arizona with the Yuma Sheriff's Department. I forgot to go to be talking like a man over here. Stand right next to you, and 
he wants me to back up. He already told me to back up. He said 10 steps and I did this. Sir, can I, can, can I have you back up while my back's turned towards you? We got I don't see numbers on there vehicle. Oh, this one is uh, 237-184 and the license plate is 91 Alpha 4 Kilo Paul 4 Kilo Paul 91 A 4 KP and we got Two two seven oh two four. We got plate number Tango one Alpha two Charles John Oh young man got a ticket. Wonder what he got a ticket for. Don't shake that man's hand. You shaking that man's hand for taking your money? Don't shake their hand when they're extorting you. Do that again. <laughs> oh, he got awfully close to that buggy. Uh, yeah. It looks like they could just back right out. This one, no, no, no. Don't give unlawful directives. I got an unlawful directive for him. All right, guys.
moral of the story, y'all need to remember, those of you who are not used to being audited and filmed in public, we cannot bait a good person into doing bad things or acting badly. Your actions are your responsibility, okay? Just because you, you're out in public and you see a camera, that doesn't mean you get to come and put your hands on people. Grab their stuff, grab their cameras. No, keep your hands to yourself. Because although you don't like what we're doing, it is not illegal. I keep forgetting I'm in man disguise. Yeah, you better do it right. Put your seatbelt on. Good. Excuse me.